Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jewel. We're moving on to part four of our tutorial of this accordion cover file, or file, accordion cover junk journal in a tag shape. And we finished up uh, the last time with decorating the pockets. And um, I, d I came back in because we decorated the pockets and we put a little embellishment on here. And um, I came back and did a little decoration here with a piece of scrap. And then I decided to um, do one here as well. I'm cutting up my scrappy strips to do some of this embellishing. Okay, so today what we're going to do is um, I've decided we are going to make some tags and then um, if we can move forward in journaling cards, if we can move forward from that, uh, then we will move on to... Um, I think we're going to do some more embellishing on the pages. Last time we just did some... Uh, let me sit down here. Some um, stenciling on them and went over that, but uh, today we're going to make some tags. So the nice thing about the Stamperia paper packs is they do come in with some of these. They do have some of these cutouts. Uh, they had some little uh, stand or um, tags as well, but. Um, I liked the flip paper, so I cut right over them. And we're also going to make a couple of little mini booklets today to go in this. Now, we had talked about the papers last time, or the um, signatures, and the middle signature, um, I'm going to be doing just this single cardstock tag holder and tuck system and we're going to do something on here and something on here but I want to create two large tags that go in here and they're going to peek out the top so in I had this piece of paper left from um, what I had used on here and I'm I think I'm going to make the tags out of this um, I like this side, so I'm just going to start with that, and let me move my um, cover aside and find a pencil, and I'm just going to mark how wide each tag is going to be. So they're gonna, I'm gonna do two, and they're gonna be the same on each side, and. Um, I want it uh, just a little bit coming out the top would make it a little bit less wide. So this is going to be uh, probably about three, three and a uh, quarter inch wide. And then the length is um, five and one quarter inches in length. So let me just put this over here in my cutter and I'm going to make two of that size because we're going to make two tags. All right, so that's that one. Oops, I'm going to be out of frame because my cutter's over here, guys. So sorry about that because if I keep moving it back and forth, then I have to shift everything on my desk. So. And then I can't find stuff. So then I have this little piece left, and then I have this. So we will be using this somewhere else, probably. All right, so I have two pieces of cardstock here. Um, and I think I want to, on this flip side, uh, do some coffee-stained paper. So let me just get a sheet over here. And we're going to glue... I think I'm going to do one tag this pattern and one tag, okay, that and one tag this pattern because I like this music sheet. So let's glue these on here and then I'll, I'll cut around those and then we'll decorate these tags. And we don't want them super thick. And um, I will take these to the machine um, and sew them um, off, you know, after I record this. So, because I don't have my sewing machine, let me get it. Let me get in frame. Okay, 
Okay, and then this one. And if you guys uh, make this project, if you could just give me a shout out and tell me how it came and maybe even share a picture, I would love to see it. I love to see everybody's um, creations and their their spin on, here, I'll just bring this over here, their spin on my tutorials. Um, a lot of them are a lot better than mine. They take it and they go with it. All right, so, whoops, that's just a little crooked. Let me take off a, a tad more of that edge. All right, so we got two tags to start with. Um, now I think for these tags, um, I'm just, I want to create a rounded corner on them as opposed to the angled ones. So here's my corner rounder and I'm going to use the large, the large, this comes in the small, medium and large. So I'm going to use the large and I'm going to keep the bottom flat. I think this paper goes this way. And then we'll ink it, and then we'll do a little decorating on it and do some trim at the top. Somebody's doing a little construction outside. I, don't, I think they're getting their something done with their patio or something. So the dogs have been a little, just a little, a little rambunctious today here in the trucks out there and all of that. And uh, the one dog always sits up and, oh, there he goes. Um, sits, uh, no, Ricky, no, no. We're not gonna start that. Um, let's do a little stenciling on this side. Uh, you know what? I think I might just want to do a little script stamping because this has a little script stamp on it. Let me pull out this one here real quick. And um, just do a little bit right here. Nice and light, so you can kind of just write over it. Okay, so there's that. Now, how do, I've got some off cuts. Let me make sure these are these are good in size. This one looks a little wide. It's just, I think I'm gonna cut these down just a tad more so they don't get too hung up on the on the edges. And that's a pretty tight pocket, so I'm, I'm not gonna be able to do a lot of embellishing, but we can do a little bit. At least something at the top. All right, so now I have to come in and um, just round that corner one more time. Oops, wrong ink. I'm doing worn lipstick on this. And antique, and, and uh, vintage photo, or other. No, Ricky, no, no. Okay, so um, I have the collage strips, and I also have 
some of the paper trims just the same way we did the pockets. So let me pull a few over here and see what we might want to do on this front side. It's such pretty paper, we don't need to do a lot. Let me pull my collage strips over here that I had. I had some pieces. Mm -mm. And these, I also had some pieces. I don't know what I did with them. Oh, you know, this is awful pretty. Let me see what this will look like coming out the top. If I put that on there with some uh, lace. Yeah, I don't like that. Um... I guess I must have used them. So I have this one. Let's see if there's anything on here. This is not gonna go as well. And then I have this one. Can't believe I used that. Oh, here they are. I, I Here's some that's left right here. Here's a piece and here's a piece. I think this is gonna get hung up. This is just going to be too thick. So I think what we will do is we're just gonna put a little, um, we're gonna just do a little layering. So I got a little piece of cheesecloth here, just a little bit. Let's do some torn papers. This one right here. Maybe do a little, actually, I think I'm gonna skip the cheesecloth. I'm gonna do maybe a little bit of uh, ribbon in behind there. I had used a little bit of this Rick Rack, and it looked pretty, and I also used a little bit of, oh, Yeah, I like that. So let me just cut a piece of this. And I think for the other pocket, I came in and I kind of just, it was a little bit too pink. So I just kind of muddied it up a little bit. And then we'll put an eyelet at the top and some, some ribbon and then probably uh, maybe a ball pin that can hang outside or dangle outside that pocket. And we'll put that piece of paper right on there. On the, just a tad smaller. I think I'm mixing my anchors up all going to be all one color in a minute. So just like a tad, uh, just a, like a little bit of collage, just for interest on the tag and to use up some of your scraps. Okay, let me get this and um, try to, they're playing. So if it sounds kind of obnoxious in there, it's they, they get really loud when they play. It's my new Chihuahua and my Rat Terrier. All right, let me find my eyelets. And see what colors I have here. I'll do this, uh, let's see these, are the same color. Yeah, two antique, do a couple antique bronze and a couple antique bronze ball pins. Let me go ahead and put those in. With my, what do you call these things? Uh, eyelet setters. 
It's the We Are Memory Keeper one. So, but my hand is um, really sore from RA. So, all right, let's put a little bit of something on this side and uh, see. Even add a little pocket there. Um, I have this. This is a little white, but I think I'll go, maybe we'll go, uh, no, I don't want that there. This one was, this is kind of cool. It's like a roof, an old roof. I think we'll do it across the bottom. So I think I'm gonna use this. Hey guys, you're getting too rough, I can tell. I can hear you. It's not nice. And we'll layer both of these. I wish I had another piece of that pink ribbon and I don't, it's all gone. I do have a little bit of fabric. I just do that, here it is. Actually, this is kind of cool. Maybe I'll like this one better. Yeah, let me do this. It has a little bit of the pink in it. So I'll layer that on the top of this. I'm gonna avoid, I don't want it really bulky, so it, it, it can, uh, do I wanna go this way? Or this way. I think this way. So this one will go there. I feel like I need a little bit more pink on there. And then this one will go here. And I'll trim off that end. So just to add just a little bit. Sorry about the trucks out there. I don't know, can you guys hear those trucks? Uh, I think that's their backup sound. You know when they back up, they have that, whoops. I do that backup beep. Okay, now let's figure out some really pretty trims to come off the top. And I had picked out this eyelash trim, which, uh, well, that's a little bit too red. So I don't really like that. I also have a piece of this pink fabric. And let me just tie or um, rip a little piece of this. Yeah, I like that. So we don't need that much. So maybe about that much. strings. I'll trim those off after. Okay. So let's put that through here. Just real simple tags. It's mostly for journaling on. 
get this through here. And then we're going to um, gussy up a couple of these journal uh, card, journaling cards for in the, the smaller pockets. And then I've got to find some tickets and stuff like that in my stash for the real small um, tucks. Okay, there's that. And if I find some satin ribbon, I might come in and put it down here, but I have to look closer through my stash. That that piece didn't that piece didn't uh, tear well. And this one's even thinner. This one's better, I guess. Ugh. This is not tearing well. Let's try it one more time. There we go. About that much right there. And we'll see if we can pop that through. And then we've got two big tags down. Okay, now, um, I have a pink, let me see what I have over here. Anything in here? I was kind of hoping I had a pink button. I don't. Let me grab my buttons. My little buttons. See if I can find a little pink button to put on the ball pin. And if not, we, yep, I have some. There's a, one right there. That's cute. And I could put a, uh, actually, let's put a little bead on with that. The rate I'm going here, I think it's probably going to be two tags in this video. Seems like it's taking forever. I'm trying to stay, like, you know, in the 30 to 40 minute time frame. Each of these. Uh, last week I had taped, I had videoed something 49 minutes and my, it would not. It wasn't going to upload it for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. So that's cute. Um, and I'm just going to simply hang it, put it right through the, the uh, fabric. I think, yep. And there we go. Let me pop it down. So it's kind of hanging. Actually, I think I might move it down a little bit more so it hangs on to the car, but I'll do that after. And then um, we want to do the same thing with this one, but I will do that off, um, off camera so we can move on. Because I got to get way down here to find it. I got a little pink button down here, so let me move that aside. So we've got two tags here pretty much ready to go. Um, let's make a little booklet and then we'll uh, see if we have time to make a journaling card. Oh, I'm getting messy. It's getting messy on this desk. All right, these are all the off cuts that I had from the papers. So um, this is um, one of the, um, from a kit. So, and I'm going to cut the bottom of this. So I'm going to make uh, two little booklets. And also I have this one that flips up. And that, let me see. Yeah, that one might go in one of these pockets. I might have to take just a tad off the bottom um, of this one. But uh, for right now, let's see what we have in paper. So I have some coffee stain paper here. So I'm just going to set it in there and then I'll, I will cut around it. 
And I have a piece of music paper. And I'm gonna have to go to my bin for larger sizes that fit in here. And then I have uh, some graph, graph paper. And then um, we'll just do one of these right now. And then I'll make another one off camera. And another piece of um, uh, what was that? Coffee stain paper. So I'm simply just going to cut this right around. Just cut these off. They're going to go over in my bin. Whoops. A little uneven and then we'll decorate the front of this so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take this over and just sew a straight stitch right down the middle but before I do that let's go ahead and decorate the cover of this real quick move these aside for the second booklet I make and I'll do that after Again, ooh, this is going to go beautifully. I have a piece of this. Oh, this would be cute. I'm gonna make a little tuck here with this. So let me just cut this piece off with my pencil. And then I have this little piece here to trim something. So I think I'll just go ahead and glue down the bottom and down each side. And then you can tuck, we'll tuck a little something in there. Maybe like a little envelope or something. I have some little envelopes and things that we'll pull out and do something with. I also have all of my embellished paper clips. All right, so we got a little tuck spot, and so we've got that, and that's gonna be a cute little booklet uh, that will go in there. So let me put that over with my tags. All right, then I have these ready-made little journaling cards. Somewhere. Here they are, over here. <laughs> it's my dog chewing. I'm so sorry. It's just such a zoo. It's a zoo in this house. It's just a zoo. He's got his bone. He's going to town. All right. Let me pull this over to see what sizes we need. Okay, I want a bigger tag there. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? And I'm not even going to cover this because you can write right on that, whoever can write right on that, but I'm probably going to have to trim this down a little bit. Let me see if it fits a little bit better in one of these other pockets. They're probably almost all the same size. It fits a little bit better in this pocket. I think I'll just take it down just a tad. So. We're going to need a tall tag there. We're going to need a taller, t a tall tag here. And let me see how wide we're going to need. And then the little journaling cards will go in the smaller pockets. I'll take off, whoops, this much, because I have to go inside where I sewed it. So let me just trim that. So I'm just sizing these up for what I'm going to need. Still, that one's still a, t a little tight. And now we're going to have to take, oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit off the bottom. And then this should be a good size. So we're gonna have that in that pocket. And then this one, this will go in that pocket. 
See, I can have a, no, that's going to be too small. And we'll do this one in this pocket. So let me just trim it down just a tad. And I will take some off the top. About an inch. And this is a nice little off cut here. Okay, so what I want to do with this is I'm going to do the same thing where I did before, where we're just going to do this and Um, as opposed to having eyelets in this, I think I'm just going to do some trim on the top. And there again, um, I have this. I also have some lace. We just do a little lace right across the top there. I think we'll do a little lace just for something different. Ricky, no. Um, I'm, I'm setting the lace so the middle of it comes down the middle. See that little scalloped edge? And I will I can wrap this around or I can just cut it off. I think I'm just going to cut it off. Try not to shift it, it's still a little bit damp. There we go. And I'm gonna look for a pearl to go right here in the middle. Also have this. This is pretty. I think we'll put that on there. It's a little plain Jane, so I think I'll just put that on there. There we go. And I don't even think we need the pearl with that. I might hang a, uh, maybe we'll put a crystal on there. So that's a simple little tag, and we'll do the same thing on the other side, and that's just for symmetry. I have so much of this lace, oh my goodness. It was um, on a great big, um, like this, let me show you. And I've been using it and using it, and I got it for $5. It was at the thrift store. It's like, I get, it's the never, it doesn't, it's like, I've been using it for like three years. <laughs> it's like, I'll bring that up so it looks about the same. And I'll cut that off. And another little bit of this. This is pretty scalloped. that on. Now I have a snoring dog. I don't mind them snoring because that means they're sleeping. Okay, let's trim this off. So we got those two done. Set those aside. I'm thinking I might want to... I want them on the same side. So I think I'm going to use... Hopefully it's the right size. Oh, that's a little... 
Let's try it on this side. Yeah, I feel like I might have to put a little bit of a heavier white paper in behind. These are, this is a tight fit for these tags with the sewing. There we go, that's in there. I might come in and put a little bit of a, here's a journaling spot here. And this one, yep, this one I can get in this side. There we go. So we've got those two there. Now, um, I have a tuck here and a tuck there. So I have these little cards and um, this one's meant to go this way, but I don't think it's, see, and you can, you can write on the back of these. So I think I'm just going to tuck a few of these in. I'm gonna come back and ink them. I might do this. I don't really want to cover the, the pink rose, so I folded it. And let me see, do I want to fold this side too? No, this side I don't need to fold. And that kind of looks pretty right there like that. Um, okay, so there's that. Two tags there, and then we need something we're going to need this again, and I'm going to have to make a tag for back here. And then um, we've got this tuck. This would be pretty right here. And then I think I'll make it, I have to make a tag for in here. See, this is another little tuck spot. So I actually might, I think I'm just gonna use it as one tuck spot. So I can make a tag out of this, and I can make a tag out of this, and I do have a little bit more paper. So I'm probably gonna do that off camera, guys. And then next time you come back is going to be when we will be putting the whole thing together, and I'm going to, oh, I just wanted to share something with you. Um, with my scrappy strips, I think I want to put, come in here, these are my, our papers. I want to come in and add a little, um, just a little bit on the plain papers, like this one and this one, and just do a little border, just like that, just on a couple just for a little bit more interest on the pages. So um, we'll do that, and then we can also add some of these scraps. Okay, guys, I hope you're enjoying this series, and that was part four. Yes, part four. We're getting there. Maybe uh, one more part, possibly two. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, thumbs up and make a comment, please. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>